Yo, what's good, everybody? Hope y'all are having a super blessed day, and welcome back to Sharp Sports. So I've been seeing a lot of you guys commenting, saying that you want me to cover each state's top recruit. So I thought, why not start with the state of Hawaii, the state that seems to get the least amount of love? Because if you didn't know, Hawaii low-key be producing some of the best players in the country year in and year out. And today's player is no exception. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the 6'3", 220-pound four-star inside linebacker, who's the fourth best inside linebacker in the class of 2020 and obviously the best player in Hawaii out of St. Louis High School, Jordan Botello. Now y'all don't want to go hit that like button because this dude is an absolute savage on the field. Let's get this video to 700 likes. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications because you don't want to miss any of the videos that we are dropping daily. So let's just jump straight into Jordan's house so you guys can see what Hawaii's finest is looking like on the field. Three, two, one. Psh. All right, let's take a look and see what the best player in Hawaii is looking like. 6'3", 230, 15, 15 plus sacks. Yo, that's production right there. Oh, pff, thank you. Just drop back. Easy money. User alert. Let's go. You made, yo, that, that looks so easy. Yo, one thing I love about Hawaii, they, they play so many of their games in Hawaii. Sit them down. Oh, let's go. I see you out here. But the thing I love about uh, Hawaii high school football, they play so many games at University of Hawaii. So you get these beautiful camera angles, the stabilized, the, the stabilized all 22 angles. Way to drive him. Also, look at look at how when he makes his tackle, look at how he keeps his legs driving. That is how you are supposed to tackle as a linebacker. You're not supposed to just hit the guy and then let your legs down from underneath you. There you go. Way to square him up. Let's go. Yo, he, look at look at how look at how he gets this offensive lineman or yeah, this offensive lineman's hands off of him. Goes immediately, not knocks the hand down, and then knocks it down and then rips underneath it. That's money right there. Yo, I, yo, I see you ripping. I see you ripping. Let's go. Yo, he may not he may not be like the fastest guy. I said he said he ran 488, but he has really good explosiveness. Like that, like his short like five yard burst is really good. Oh, let's go way to scrape over top. Let's go. Again. All for all of my linebackers. Whenever you got a lead blocker, engage in that block. Stalemate them at the at the point of attack, and then be able to get off the block and go make the tackle. Don't don't try and like get out. Sit them down. Like don't try and like avoid the the lead blocker. Like you got to blow him up, especially if you're the first person to get to him. Because if anything, your teammates are gonna are gonna come around. Bro, you can see him just like that. That's something that like really only like high level i really see it from like high level high school athletes it's like you really have to be like thinking thank you we gone with that you really got to be thinking when you're playing and be like oh okay like i see the ball like, let me start ripping or like if you got like a bunch of guys teaming up like always be looking to rip that ball out like that's the difference between being a playmaker and just being a, a solid football player in high school yo this dude is like the honey badger out here though he's just in the right place at the right time Let's go. Again, able to get off the block nicely. Let's go. Dude's a savage out here, man. Let's go. Nope. Wait, where are you going? Again, he's, he's not like crazy, crazy fast, but he has really good burst. And his motor is just really high. Like you never see him going anything less than 100%. He's always running full speed everywhere on the field. And that honestly, hey, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that over a guy who runs four six at the DN position, but is like really lazy in, in the in the last couple of quarters. Like, hey, I want a guy who's just running full speed everywhere that he goes. Man, this dude is out here just living in the backfield. Again, you, you see you see him ripping. You see him as soon as like as soon as he feels that ball, he, he like he's always looking for an opportunity to get that ball out. <laughs> you can't leave him unblocked on the backside. That's just asking for something bad to happen.
<laughs> nope, we <laughs> hit quarterback. He tried. Bob, sit him down. Again, he like he just never gives up on the play. Like, for example, a lot a lot of guys here, a lot of guys when they get to this this spot right here where they're like, oh man, he, he's already he's already passed me in the line of scrimmage. Like they they would just kind of give up and then especially if they saw that their teammate was already wrapping a guy up. But he never stopped. There was no hesitation. He's always running full speed everywhere. Like you got to be given a hundred percent effort all the time. Way to deflect that. Let's go. Like as a linebacker, if I was a recruiter, the number one thing I'm gonna be looking for is your motor. Like I want to see like, okay, are you constantly just flying around the field? Second thing is I, I like, yeah, it, it's always dope when you make solo tackles, but I, I want to see you even if your teammates are, even if your teammates have a guy wrapped up. Way to get, look at, way to get inside of this guy's shoulder pads and just drive him back. Boom, where are you going? Second thing, I, I just want to see if you're just willing to participate in every single hit. I.e., are you do you like contact? Because if you're a linebacker, you gotta like some contact. And then thirdly, uh, it's just your burst and being able to close on and just being able to close on guys. Again, you don't need to be ultra fast, but you do need to be quick to play linebacker. There you go. But like uh, again, like look it, he he drops back into coverage. Boom, closes on it. Like again, just that five yard burst. I don't need you to run a four two forty. Like most linebackers, they're not running 40 yards to make an open field tackle. They're running five yards to get from their their original position down to the line of scrimmage or like a little bit out to the to the sidelines. Like you need to have this quick burst of, of, of speed. Bro, again, he just does such a good job of switching from speed to the outside to power. Like, like that's such a good pass rushing move to like act like you're going to be like just speed rushing outside and then just square the guy up and just knock him back because especially like these bigger offensive tackles like they're that's a lot of body that they're trying to that they're trying to drop back so that they can keep in front of you so when you square them up they're not going to be solidly planted on on their on their toes and so they're going to be normally on their heels and then you could just knock them back easily way to stick them let's go always keep it the play in front of them and then as soon as he knows where he has to go boom immediately just like a missile locking on let's go wait a i mean this was kind of like a lazy move by this tackle but hey just nice quick to the inside get off of me open field tackle let's go Again, I like it because he's an aggressive player, but he's not overly aggressive. A lot of guys, they would get tempted with this, they would get tempted with this uh, reverse or the jet sweep, but nope, he keeps the play in front of him. And then as soon as he sees where he has to go, closes on it. Again, also does a really good job when, when he's just, uh, when he has to just contain the edge, he does a really good job of getting on the inside of the offensive, uh, offensive lineman's shoulder pads. When you can get on the inside of their frame, you can really just move them wherever you want, and it makes it easier to get off the block because you can just push them out and then throw them wherever you need to. Whereas if you're if you have if you're hitting them on like more of the shoulders, or if they have the inside the inside uh their hands on the inside, like they can just move you wherever they want. Again, like he does such a good job. Like this, this move right here is his bread and butter. The speed rush to the outside, and then just boom, squares the guy up. Like, look at how, look at how far he's knocking back. Like, if this, if this was a more uh, crowded pocket, I mean, this offensive line is actually doing a really good job of creating a pocket for this quarterback. But if this was, if this was more crowded, look at how as soon as he switches from boom, that's like, that's like two, three yards that he pushed him back. And if this was a more crowded, well. This left side of the well, his right side of the pocket kind of did get collapsed a little bit. But you could push the quarterback into into you can push the lineman into the quarterback and force a bad throw. Like it, it just causes pressure on the quarterback. You don't always need to get to the quarterback to affect him. Okay, Jordan, I see you out there putting on for Hawaii. To me, your game reminds me of a little bit of Khalil Mack and a little bit of Malcolm Smith. You just have a very well-rounded linebacker package. I mean, again, you don't need to be ultra fast, especially if you're gonna be playing inside linebacker, which it looks like you're gonna be playing at Notre Dame. Bro, 
all you got to do is just have that quick burst, those five yard bursts to be able to close down on guys. And then as an edge rusher, yo, that, that you have enough speed to really pressure the, the lineman to the outside and then you just square him up and just knock him straight back into the quarterback or you just knock him to the ground and go get after the quarterback. Like, like those two moves alone, like that is a deadly pass rushing as well as just overall linebacker package. But what'd you guys think of Jordan Botello's highlight tape? Be sure to comment it down below. All right, y'all, but with that being said, hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Let's get this video to 700 likes because that lets me know that you guys enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to comment down below any other plays that you guys want me to see because that's how I know who you guys want me to watch so we can help grow this channel. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you guys can stay on top of all the videos that I am a coming out with. Hey, yeah. All right, you guys, with all that being said, hope that y'all have a super blessed rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.